What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Brennan, and I'm BmanX45, and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our not so tier list, our deck excitement list that we do uh, for every set, uh, and it is for BT17, uh, which is coming up. And by the time this video goes live, this is going to be just about a week till pre-release, so it's very close. Uh, we like to do these not so tier lists. I don't do tier lists because I don't like purport to know what the best deck is uh, so I prefer these deck excitement lists showing what I'm most excited about in this set on a scale of like high to low you know uh, S being super excited this one being you know you know interested this one being kind of well, either way uh, this one being not that excited and of course having no <laughs> having no need to play the deck at all uh, but anyways, we're going to get into it here. We're going to talk about it and about a bunch of different decks that are coming and which ones I'm interested in the most. Uh, and we'll uh, take a look at that. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. All right, let's get into it, guys. We have a wide variety of different decks here. We're going to get into it here. Uh, we're starting out with the the new uh, Geomon stuff. We have a new Geomon line. We have a new Crimson mode. I would say uh, with the Crimson mode, uh, I am kind of middle of the line now. I might definitely probably want a couple Crimson mode aces because they might come in handy in other red decks. Um, but I'm I'm either way, like if I build it, if I don't build it, I'm not super excited. Um, I, I do like Geomon stuff. I do like new Geomon support. And, uh, and it looks like it might be decent. But there's so many other red decks that I honestly want to play right now that it, this is just kind of middle of the line for me. Uh, I definitely think this is middle of the line, and yeah, uh, not something I really, really want to play right now. Uh, it's it probably definitely a great deck, uh, and the card looks nuts. The new Crimson Mode uh, Ace, all the Aces look pretty nuts. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I, I could do it if I got tired of the decks that I really want to play. I could see myself, but either way, I'm not super invested. Um, we have the new Imperial Dramon uh, Paladin Mode Ace. Uh, I feel like this deck right here for me is somewhere in here because I definitely think I want to play Imperial Dramon again in this format, especially with the new Paladin mode. Uh, but it's not something I'm so invested in. But I'm definitely, I definitely think I'm going to play it. Um, whether I take it to tournaments or not, that's another question. This is a really good card. Paladin mode is, is amazing. It's going to be really good for the deck, uh, especially now that we got Fighter mode and Paladin mode. So that's really, really great. Um, but that, yeah, kind of puts that on there on my list there. Uh, we have Omnimon stuff, the om new Omnimon DNA Digivolve. I don't really care about the new Omnimon stuff. I mean, I haven't really looked into it a lot. I've looked into the Agumon stuff a little bit. I haven't really looked into the Gray line. I just don't see them being able to do a good enough job with this deck to start out with. Um, you know, they've mastered it with Vmon and Wormmon. And if you think about that, that that is a starter deck and two sets worth of support because you have cards from the starter deck in that deck. You have cards from uh, BT12 in that deck. You have cards from BT16 in that deck. You might even have a few other cards from other sets um, in the deck, but generally those are the main three sets. And you also have... Um, Oh, what is it? You have promo. You have the promo Vmon. You have promos that are really, really good in that deck. So you have at least three s distinct different sets. Well, two sets and a starter deck. And just to make that a very consistent DNA Digivolve deck, you also have a really great level five partitions. Amazing. Uh, and I don't know if they're going to... Well, I mean, like, that's the thing, right? The DNA Digivolve is on the Omnimon, it's not on the level five. So you have to go through your level fours, level fives, level sixes, you gotta get to your level sixes. So I just don't think they can do a good enough job. So I'm not as interested in that uh, as I would be other things. I think like this is a cool idea, but I feel like it might have to be built up a little bit more with a little bit more support. I might be wrong, you know, and if you are, let me know in the comments, but I think that this is just not gonna be as consistent of a deck. So it's not something I'm super excited uh, to play right now. But uh, the new Omnimon Ace uh, does look really cool. Does look really good. Uh, getting on to Shine Greymon, the new Shine. I love Shine Greymon. So it's like, I don't know if it's ever going to be anything but something I really want to play. So I definitely think I'm probably playing Shine next format. The new Burst Mode stuff. I do like the stuff that is pure yellow. 
um, but it can mix really well with the yellow red stuff. I do like that. I think that is cool. Um, I think if you do play the yellow stuff, you're probably going to have to add a yellow base egg. Uh, the Coromon's great, honestly. Like I, I like the BT12 Coromon a little bit better than the BT5 one now because I feel like you have so many draw avenues that you're you're pretty good, especially with the EX4 uh, Agumon stuff, that you're pretty good and you can just, you know, you can just go with that DP reduction Coromon because it actually does change games. So I do think that, uh, especially that we're going to get that Coromon as an ulti cup card. So they knew what they were doing here. They, they knew what they were doing here. But I'm excited for Shine Greymon. New burst mode. Uh, it's kind of funny. Burst mode is kind of like the old BT2 Shine Greymon mixed a little bit with the new Shine Greymon uh, ability to just take multiple cards off the board. So I think it's really good. Uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, that's what we got for that. Uh, and then what do we got next? We have, this looks like uh, the new Lobomon stuff. Um, sorry, not Lobomon. Well, Lobomon, but Ancient Gururumon. Um, I'd say I put it down here. I'm not really excited for the Ancient Gururumon stuff. I've never really played any of the uh, Magna uh, Magna Gururumon or the Ancient Gururumon stuff. I like the cards. Uh, I... I'm, I lean towards more red hybrid than I do blue hybrid. So I generally, uh, may, maybe one day I'll be interested enough to play blue hybrid. But I think right now, just where I am in the format, this is going to be one that's maybe not, you know, something that I build right away. Uh, yeah, just not. And I, I don't even honestly know what the, the gimmick for the deck is. Um, it looks like a great card. looks like a cool card. And, I, and uh, I'm excited to get more hybrid support overall, but uh, not one that I'm, super excited for but that brings us to the red hybrid stuff which i am so excited for i have looked these cards up like six or seven times i love how good they are and how good they are going to be with the old support as well as the new support um, i'm excited to play ancient Greymon because i really like the old bt4 ancient Greymon, so i'm excited to play that and put this in a deck because i think you're probably going to use both of them because they're both such great targets maybe i'm wrong maybe you just play emperor as your second hybrid target but i think it's gonna be really really great so i'm excited for the <laughs> the the new ancient Greymon stuff so i really, really like that all right and that's that's that and uh oh dex Gormon. uh this one that's kind of snuck up on me i was looking at the abilities for the dex Gormon stuff and i wasn't sure if i wanted to play the new fenrir stuff next format I wasn't sure if I wanted to play Seven Demon Lords in the next format. I thought we got Lilith Monax Antibody in this set, but I guess it's in the future set. Maybe it's the EX7 set. Maybe it's a little bit further down. I can't remember honestly right now. Um, if you if you know in the let me know in the comments which set we're getting e, uh, uh, we're getting that Lilith Monax Antibody. But the Dex Gora stuff looks pretty legit, as well as the old stuff is pretty good. Um, other than you know Dex Doru himself. But with the new Dora Goromon we got last set, uh, and the old one too, we could potentially have a cool uh, Dex Dorumon deck, uh, which I think is really, really cool. And uh, I really like the artwork of the new Dex Dora Goromon. It looks really cool. Uh, the ability looks cracked. I think it'd be cool. I definitely want to give it a try out. So I think uh, I'm, that's going to be something I'm looking forward to in purple. Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank it's uh sakuyamon sakuyamon uh rika renamon i want to play this deck i definitely i'm I, I have a hard time putting it down here i want to put it here i just like shine Gramon so much more uh sakuyamon is a deck that's really dear to my heart i love the plug-in cards and i love being able to use them and i think that once we get some really good plugins we have some good ones we don't have some really good plugins and that's the problem with the deck. Uh, this is a step in the right direction because she gets protection from using a plug-in card and then you also have other protection from your the plugins that you'd use. So that really makes it easy to keep her on the board because the problem with the deck is if you lose your Sakuyamon you die basically um, because the deck just isn't fast enough. It's always been that way uh, even with made mode. It's always been that way. It just wasn't fast enough. Um, the options weren't good enough to make it a fast enough deck and I feel like this is a step in the right direction I don't know if it's going to be on that level with some of these decks here that I'm uh, or even these decks right here that are, I think are going to be potential major contenders 
So I think it would be something I would probably test, uh, more likely to play, but maybe not something I'm going to be playing a lot of uh, compared to like a Shine Greymon build. But I think with the new line, it is very good support, and I am excited for it. Uh, having another Rika is going to be really, really good for the deck. Um, and the new Cubemon that lets you play the Rika, because honestly, level 4 with an Inheritable playing the Rika is a lot better than your level 5. Um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, and Telamon, it's going up here because I definitely think, I think this is the green deck I want to play. Like I, There's other decks I haven't put on my list here, uh, like Argumon and stuff like that. There's getting a new line in the deck. I wasn't really interested in that at all, so I didn't like, eh, whatever, I'm not even going to go into it. But I am interested uh, with the new Antilamon to play that in my Cherubimon Alliance deck uh, because I think that deck is amazing, and I think it's going to be even better once we get our second... It's going to be better once we get our second Antila. Uh, the first the first one we got in EX6 was really good. Uh, it helps you play all your cards from hand right on digivolving this lets you play them from the trash so you got that good balance between you know playing from your hand playing from your trash uh going back and forth between the evil and the good bunny it's so so good and i'm re really think this is going to make the deck super super good really competitive uh so i'm really excited uh that the antilamon it's funny it's only one card like these two decks is just like one card of support for both but it's really going to make a huge difference to both decks and that's why i'm excited about this stuff uh, next we have Eosmon, and I think this is going to be a first for me. Uh, go die. <laughs> Eosmon, I have absolutely no interest in playing that deck whatsoever. Um, I'm hoping for Eosmon enthusiasts that this is the support you need to make the deck good. I know when I used to watch tier lists back in like, uh, other formats, like when we first got Eosmon and like later on when we got like a couple cards of support, people would like do a tier list and they're like, and Eosmon is... Like they make a category and they would just like instead of like D, they put like dog shit and they'd throw Eosmon in the dog shit category. So I mean that uh I and, and you know what, I'm not saying the deck's bad. I just it's just something I just don't have any inkling to play at this current moment. Uh I have no idea what the deck does, honestly. I have barely looked at the cards. But uh, I mean if the deck's good, I mean hey hopefully somebody takes it to a tournament. Just not gonna be me at this current moment in time. Um, watch it be like broke like Numamon and then I'm like, oh, I have to play this deck so I know what it does. Um, anyways, uh, we got the new Fenrir Lugamon stuff. Uh, I like Lugamon. I'm not sure if I'm going to be interested in this whole DNA Digivolve Fenrir with Kazuchimon. Uh, I think it's probably really good. The deck Lugamon's already really, really good. Uh, it's just maybe not as fast as it could be for the Forbat. Um, but like you're getting lots of good Lugamon support in this set, not just this thing, but you're getting another Tamer, which is actually really good. You're getting oh, so much stuff. Uh, a new Fenry. Um, there's some good stuff coming in this set. And a new Baumon is super important. Uh, now we can play five eggs. And I don't even know which one's the Baumon you're going to want to play, but uh, it's, it's good. And then, uh, yeah, so I, I think... It's, I'm not super interested in playing it uh, per se, but I think it's going to be good. Um, I think like either way, it could go either way. I could, it could come, it could, you could probably put it up here saying that I'm interested. Um, probably more, I'm probably more so interested uh, than just kind of on the fence in playing it, but just not as much as these other decks right here. Uh, and then lastly, we have our Diaboromon and you know what? I've been raving about Diaboromon for like since we got the announcement of Doomsday Clock, which I think was Clock at the End originally when we saw the original translation for it, which kind of actually sounded cooler. But now it's Doomsday Clock. Uh, this guy, even without the Doomsday Clock, is really good. Having two really good Imperial Dramons, you're getting a really good Kiramon, you're getting a new Inframon, you're getting a new Armageddon. Just so much support for the deck uh, that I'm. This is definitely going to be my black deck into this format. So I definitely think that that is uh, how how I want to go with this uh, right now. Um, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really consistent, which is the first time we've been able to say that for uh, Diaboromon like ever. <laughs> the deck's already super fun as it is now, but this is just going to make it a lot better. The new Armageddon mod's really cool too. Uh, I can see playing like one of the old one, one of the new one. I like how his effect works. I still like the old one, I'd like to say a little bit better, but I haven't got the chance to try the new one, so maybe I'm lying. But uh, 
anyways that's it guys that's the decks uh you know we're gonna do a deck profile probably of each color some of them might be the same deck profiles as last time just with the updated support we'll see how things go um but generally looking at some new decks uh hitting the fan definitely red hybrid definitely shine Greymon. um definitely the decks if we do that one but uh having a lot of fun uh with a lot of different decks and just enjoying the game as it is as it's going super fast through this simultaneous translation update a lot of changes are happening a lot of things are happening we gotta just roll with it and honestly the thing is is uh this comes out after gen con so I, I don't really even get to play in gen con i'm just there for the participation and then i have to drop because i got something else going on that week but uh after gen con there's no in there's no online tournaments uh, there's an in-person ones at the end of the month, so that'll be like the first, that'll be like the first BT17 legal tournaments, and then the, I think there's a couple. There might be like an in-person regionals at the start of September, but then the other online regionals is in at the end of September. So by then we'll have EX7. So we will effectively, yeah, we'll have EX7. So effectively we will be into ex7 format so we might be mixing this with some ex7 support uh the new galemon stuff the new three musketeers stuff the new uh um what is it uh the puppet guys i'm trying to remember the uh the cinderella mon and stuff like that or cinderella mon a lot of a lot of things are up in the air but i mean i might even get to play a tournament really with you know with bt17 decks i mean like probably will um because i'm honestly hoping hybrid stays super competitive because i really like to play hybrid again for tournaments but we'll see how things go uh in the future here tell me what you guys think this is our not so tier list this is our deck excitement list for bt17 are you excited for bt17 which of these decks are you excited did i not mention some of the decks that you're super excited for did i you know, are you excited for EOS Mon? I mean, like I said, this is, doesn't mean that it's a bad deck. It just means I'm not excited for it. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day, and that's all for now, folks.